Hey, what's going on guys? I got an exciting video for you today. I want to talk about this product right here and this little product right here. These are the Log Life Fast Magazine pouches or quick magazine pouches or you know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are wonderful. You can go ahead and attach these to any plate carrier, molly vest, tactical belt or battle belt, whatever you'd like to call it. These are incredibly inexpensive. Uh, they're incredibly lightweight. They, they feel kind of cheap, but I, I mean, I think they're sturdy enough in my opinion. Um, you know, just using them, um, you know, the way that I use them, um, they, they seem to do the job, uh, you know, pretty well. Uh, you know, the, these aren't Kiwis. Uh, you know, you know, there's definitely higher end um, pouches like these two right here. This is a, you know, for... For, uh, this is like a multi-purpose type pistol quick mag pouch and you can put quite a few um, you know different types of magazines in here I, I had a 45 ACP it's the only thing I've tested it out with so far uh, and then of course this is for AR-15 so you know 556 five, um, magazines will, will fit right in here uh, just about the majority of them you know hex mags I assume are gonna go ahead and go ahead and fit in here um, so let me just go ahead and demonstrate that for you really quick so the way that these work is that you have these uh, these little rubber uh, you know these these uh, rubber bands uh, you know the gripping onto the you know the, the little plastic enclosure here the, these little clips and uh, you know that this is what holds the magazine in place so you can put the P mag in just like that and of course it's only going to go in one way because of the, the bottom of the mag and then of course uh, this is an aluminum DNH magazine this can go in either way uh, I, I prefer it in you know uh, in this configuration right here and uh, yeah it goes just like that and this is what it looks like when you have your your magazines in there so we got a P mag gen 2 and then of course the aluminum uh, D mag uh, or D and H mag I apologize so I love these man uh, you know like when I go out to the range you know I put on my belt and I don't really want to hold all my magazines or, or walk or keep walking back to the table or my uh, you know my car the, these definitely come in handy, man. I absolutely love it. You know, maybe get like a, a, a what, what's it called? Like a like a mag pouch or something, or a, or a dump uh, dump pouch and just throw all my shit in there once I'm done. So let's go ahead and weigh this. See, see how much this weighs. Uh, okay, so without anything on it, it's 6.1 ounces. Now, what is this gonna weigh with bullets? So right over here we have steel magazines. These are from uh, HK. These are HK. 5.56 AR-15 mags. Are these both HK or are these something else? No, these are both HK. Okay, so dude, I have so many mags. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and test how durable they are. So I'm shaking it violently, guys, and uh, they ain't coming out. They ain't coming out. Pretty cool, huh? And this is just a few bucks. I'm gonna, of course, throw uh, throw some links in the description. I got these off Amazon. This this is Log Life, ladies and gentlemen. These aren't high end. Uh, and then, of course, this is how they uh, they they attach to you know whatever Molly uh, uh, you know apparel you got on, whether it's a belt or a vest or or a carrier. So of course, you know you have this little uh, rubber strap over here, and it you know goes through the Molly webbing, and then of course it clips right into here. And it holds pretty sturdy. I prefer these on belts, um, just because they, they, I think they look cooler. And it, it's kind of goofy on uh, plate carriers because they kind of like like when you turn or maneuver your body a certain way. You know, the, the plastic they like they keep hitting each other. It's so weird. I don't know. So let's go ahead and weigh this uh, fully loaded. All right. So keep in mind that this is these are steel magazines. These are steel. This isn't aluminum. These aren't plastic. Oh, yeah. So three. Um, so, so a little over uh, three pounds, a little over three pounds is, is what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. So that's pretty cool. I dig that. All right. So um, just about every, you know, AR-15 magazine is going to work. Let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way, except for a magazine like this. So I have, of course, have this uh, not loaded for safety purposes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so a magazine like this is not going to fit into the, you know, the these kinds of pouches, uh, at least uh, secure, not securely, but uh, it's going to be you risk the you you definitely increase the chances of damaging the product because you have this design where you have uh, you know like the, this plastic right here you know this this design just kind of protruding out of the you know the the base of the mag and uh, it's it's pretty rough 
it's pretty rough on the on these types of plastic magazine pouches and uh, I don't like the way that it sounds I don't think it was intended for something like this so if you're wondering what kind of magazine this is of course it's an AR-15 magazine and I got this uh, this was included with my ATI Omni Hybrid Max um, great magazine looks awesome of course you know you got the anti tilt follower incredibly reliable however uh, because of the design there are some limitations here so if you have magazines that have you know all this crazy shit just protruding out uh, you might have a difficult uh, difficult time seating them properly into your uh, quick release uh, pouches right here or fast mag pouches whatever the hell you want to call them I don't know uh, so yeah so let me just go ahead and uh, just show you guys what this looks like on a human being um, and then we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Check this out.